Um, you know, I alluded to it a little bit in the intro, but, you know, your music and your success almost seem sort of contrary to current times. Uh, there's an expectation around this follow-up to Liquid Spirit, and then what you gave us was something a little quieter, a little mm -hmm. more stripped down, mm -hmm. a little more introspective. Mm -hmm. Was that a conscious <laughs> decision in the middle of all this? Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, just uh, with, uh, uh, with Liquid Spirit, just with with uh, Be Good and, and Water, I was trying to, to write and, and approach the music from an organic perspective. And this is how I was feeling and this is what I was hearing. And so, um, yeah, so this is the record. Um, and uh, in a way, being on the locomotive that, <laughs> the, 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 the massive train ride that, that this, Thing has been for the last five years. It had me craving uh, home and and uh, uh, deep uh, relationships, and uh, so I think I, I hear a lot of that in in the music that I, that I came up with. I hear my son. I hear I hear my, my my deepest relationships. My mother is there, you know. And so, yeah, that's it. You know, in many of your songs, there seems to be a theme that's not only about your dreams, but holding on to your dreams when the chips are down and when things don't look like they're gonna pan out. You referenced your mom, I was wondering what kind of role she played in, in getting you to continue on the road that you're on to this day. Um, I, before her passing, I think uh, she, she really sanctioned my whole idea for having a musical career. I, I thought in my mind it was something in the stratosphere and was just so out there, but she, uh, she said, you know, baby, don't forget your music. And, um, you know, it's, it's the best thing you do. And and after saying that, I was like, wow, okay. Well, if you say it, uh, then it's, it's definitely something I should I should try. And I, and I did. And, and I stuck with it. And I was, you know, and it's something that I love. And um, so, yeah. What do you think she would say if she were here today to see what's what's happened in the last few years? Ah, uh, you know, uh, last night I, I, I uh, the um, Michelle Obama came to my show in uh, in, in Washington D.C. and so <laughs> you know she would be over over the moon really at some of the things that I've done and you know perform performing for the the Queen at Royal Albert Hall or or even in Buckingham Palace or, or the different things that I've done. I, I had dinner with. Stevie Wonder the other day, which is all of it is surreal and strange, but beautiful. And um, she would be very happy, yeah. You know, I think about your ability when you, when you sing to bring listeners in. You, you know, you have this, this tone and this gentle phrasing, this command. I was wondering if that was something that you, you knew early on that you had that power, or did mm -hmm. you start to recognize it on stage that the way you would approached your voice, you could, you could get people to come in? Yeah, you know, my mother used to say it. I didn't other people can recognize it before you can. She's like, she's like, you know, when you sing, I'm always hanging on and waiting for the next word. Even if I know what the word is, I'm just waiting to see what you're gonna do with it. And I was like, huh, really? And I didn't understand that when I was 13. I, I'm, when I was 13, I didn't have all that I have now. I didn't have, you know, my, my, my tone and, and, but I had something. And um, she was always there, just a great cheerleader and cheering me on and, and since I was five. And, and, uh, and she passed when I was 21. And so, yeah. Um, she let you know that it was there, but you it took you a while to recognize it. It was there, it took it. me a, right. And, and then, you know, sometimes for many artists, it takes you a while to figure out how you want to approach this thing. There's a whole bunch of ways I can go, you know. I can. You know, I, I have the capacity to be a, a rock singer in my voice. It's about, you know, I have to figure out what it is I want to say. And uh, in a way, going through the things that I've gone through with the death of my mother, with just the ups and downs of relationships, and even the ups, just the ups and downs of life, of, of having a little bit of money here, and, and you know, a life of as, as an artist of self-doubt and insecurity, that can bring you a, a, a bucket load and a, and a 